Hi, my name is Sipke Albertsma. I'm the commercial director at FedShip America. Hi, my name is Chris Bottoms and I'm a designer at FedShip. And today we'll discuss one of our very special projects. So how did you uh, first come into contact with the, the client? Yeah, I think at some point um, we met with the client during a boat show, uh, the Fort Lauderdale boat show. He was very impressed with Aquarius. As you might remember, a yacht with enormous windows yeah. in yeah. the guest room. Uh, family is important. That means that he always wanted to bring all of his family and, if possible, their friends. So we were looking at a six guest room boat plus an owner's stateroom. But it was also very important for him to stay under 70 meters because some of his favorite ports had a limit of 70 meters. How did that brief come over to you? What were the things you really picked up on? Um, yeah, for me it was uh, the amount of light that had to enter the vessel. Each guest cabin had to be uh, of an equal size on top yep. of that. Building the swimming pool onto the after gave a nice elongated aft end. So, so what we call the, the box volume, where the volumes of the boat is broken down into, um, it gave it a very neutral stance, very much like Aquarius, like Lonian. Boats can be designed in two sort of ways. You can have um, long hull lines like uh, Yacht Pie or, yeah. or Moonrise, um, and that's a sort of a single hull line, but this, this client was very specific over the, over the double hull line, which sort of create, creates a, a flowing shear line, uh, the S line into the boat. And, uh, and that had to be masculine. There had to be a level of uh, masculinity to it. And that combined with the fixed bridge wings, a bit of a traditional feature yeah. that we've seen in many years in the past. And, and then we started to, to develop the plan together. Yeah. And um, yeah, if we run through that, so in, in, in the aft end, we have, uh, we have the large beach club, two folding down uh, hall doors, um, access with the staircase up to the, the swimming pool. Another feature that's fantastic on this boat is a, a full staircase connecting lower deck to sun deck with an elevator. Moving forward, we've got the, the, the on main deck forward, we have the, the galley and the, and the VIP. So you've got that uh, nice interaction where you can walk in, you can go and see the chef, what are you cooking, what's, what, what are you making, grab a cup of coffee, have, have, a, have a chat. Yeah, that, that informality uh, that this client was also looking for. On top of that, the convertible uh, VIPs. And what do you mean with a VIP cabin when it's convertible? It's, it's just one wall that can slide yeah, yeah, through? Yeah, we, we slide a we slide a wall in and then that, that divides the two spaces and often uh, you remove the sofa and a, and a, and a bed folds down. So yeah. then you, you get extra uh, functionality from, yeah. from, from the vessel. Or did the owner's cabin uh, end up in the end? Uh, bridge deck aft. Bridge so deck aft. Behind, so the behind, the ca behind, behind the wheelhouse. Basically. Yeah, and then you have fantastic uh, Fantastic views high up in the boat. Yeah, beautiful. Is there anything amazing in this vessel that really well, I jumps think, out that's a bit different? Yeah, I think that the, the funny thing is it's a very it's a very personal thing. Uh, the client is a, is a big wine lover, huge, huge into wines. Um, and one of the things that he really appreciated was a, a very good wine cellar. Mm. A wine cellar can Everybody who knows a little bit about wines can already imagine it's a very difficult thing on a yacht because you, first of all you need a very stable temperature. Um, it is something that takes up a lot of space. So normally if we do wine cellars they tend to end up yeah, on the lower deck, deck, even the tank deck, so the two lowest yeah. decks. Uh, with this specific design it ended up right next to the owner's cabin. Um, a very special location I, I, I think for a wine cellar and it really had to be one of almost like an art piece. Because one of the things that really stands out in this, in this whole project, I think, is that very long aft deck. Yeah, that was driven by the swimming pool. And, um, and having, having that sort of uh, infinity, but with, with connection to the swim platform, so, so a full wide staircase across the whole aft end of the boat, making it really inviting for family and friends to, to, to fully socialize over all levels on, on the vessel. And, uh, and you had the two side hatches for the beach club and, and connecting all of that together made it a super entertainment spot. Yeah, I think personally, if I look at the design, one of the nice things is there's always with these kind of designs, like you say, very masculine, um, the, the, the box volume moved a little bit forward. It's, it's quite a, a heavy design, yeah. although it's figuratively speaking. 
I think one of the nice things is that the owner opted for a dark blue hull, yeah. which defies yeah. defies the boat in two a little bit and makes the overall look uh, a little bit lower. What was the first reaction of the client when you presented the, the design to him? I think the first reaction to the design was very positive uh, because the lines were already there. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if you remember you had a white hull, the, but the basic lines were there. But of course there, there were also questions. So yeah. Like can we make those windows even bigger yeah, yeah, yeah. than we ended up with now? Um, can we lengthen Tunes that aft deck? deck yeah, um, yeah. And I think once he saw this design and then the final design, he got really enthusiastic yeah, yeah, yeah. because this had everything yeah. he was dreaming about. And, 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 and building your dream never comes at once. Once he saw that final design, it's, it's, it's always an almost emotional moment. For him, right? Absolutely. I can really relate to, to what you say about the client leading the, the, the decision-making process. My role in, in a project is as much designer as it is translator. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you, have to be, you have to be good in both. You have to be good in, in coming up with new ideas to push the boundaries forward, but, but you have to be open and you always have to listen was coming back and work that into, into their dream. Yeah, so one of the things we're still looking for, and we need some inspiration on this, is a name for this beautiful project. So if you, as a viewer, know a great name for this boat, please put it down, down below in the comments section. So Chris, any ideas from your side? Yeah, I was thinking, um yeah, connected to the family theme, the, the low-key nature of what the client uh, was wanting to achieve. Yeah, live slow. Cool. Why rush? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Cool, and how mate. about yourself? I think I would go for, for Royal Blue, um, as we're building a, a boat with the Royal Shipyard. Fantastic, yeah. With a blue hull? With a dark blue hull. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and um, we love to see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.